Hey, good morning. We know water is such a vital resource, not just here in the desert, but really everywhere. So this is really cool this morning. We are on the sixth story of a building in Scottsdale. This is the source offices, and I want you to come take a look at these panels. Each one of these panels has the ability to produce two to four liters of water per day. We came up here because it is the best perspective on how this works and what these panels look like. So joining us now from source is Ashley, and this is so fascinating. Run us through what these panels do and, and how this process works. Absolutely. So each panel, as you said, makes about two to four liters of water. And essentially what it, what it does is it's completely solar powered, completely self-contained. And using the power of the sun, fans pull pure water vapor molecules out of the air and then create essentially with that kind of solar energy, that solar heat, a temperature differential that's just creating condensation inside the panel. So pulling pure water vapor molecules out of the air and condensing it into liquid water, they can be immediately consumed by people who need it most. How old is this technology? Is this a relatively new form of a way for people to get their water? Yeah, so the company was founded in 2014 right here in Arizona, and the first version of the technology was available in about 2017, so relatively new, uh, but really revolutionary, really a different way to think about bringing water to people, and we work currently in 52 countries, so new in the grand scheme of things, but we have a really great footprint globally. And I understand that there's an ASU professor, professional, that, that helped with this. Absolutely. So our founder and CEO is Dr. Cody Friesen. He is a professor here at Arizona State, and he is also an MIT graduate. And so we really see this as something that's really homegrown here in Arizona. Who can buy these? Are they? Can people get them for free? How is that working at this point? Yeah, so we do have a version that people can buy for their home, a residential version of the technology that anybody can access. And then really um, what we you know, want to make sure that people know is that there's also a version that's available for free to qualifying Arizona families in southwestern and southeastern Arizona that live in rural and remote communities and are suffering from water stress. And we know that the company is working with uh, Local First Arizona. Thank you so much, of Ashley. Course. With Local First Arizona to bring some of this water, which I'm going to try in a moment, to communities across the state. So we're joined now by Raphael. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. First off, how are these panels helping Native communities across the state? Well, Local First is a nonprofit organization, and we work with some of the most remote or rural communities. Uh, that's both tribal and rural communities. Some of them aren't incorporated. And some of these communities are very under-resourced. So opportunities like this to bring safe drinking water into homes that might not otherwise have access to water, or if they do, it might not be safe to drink. So we're very lucky to be a part of this partnership. We got a grant from the state of Arizona, uh, $7.5 million, and we partnered with Source Global to bring this technology into homes. It's free to the citizens, to the homes that these, this, these panels are, in, where they're installed. And so it allows our, our community members to benefit from, from technology that's available to us today. I think a lot of people take for granted the water that comes out of their taps every day. It's something that a lot of us don't think about, but that is not the case for so many others. It isn't. And some of our communities, it's um, not just access to water, but sometimes, you know, we have other things that they're dealing with. And so there's not just the access to a you know, safe water source, but also the economics. Can they afford it? And so those are some of the other challenges that factor into making this available and for free. So that's a very exciting part of this. We're very grateful for the grant and for the opportunity to work with Source Global on this project and bring this resource to communities that are really uh, in, in need of it. Okay, Rafael, thank, thank you. you so much. We really appreciate it. And I have a sample of the water. I'm going to need about uh, 12 of these or more to make it through the day. That's funny. I was like, <laughs> "It's very good." What yeah. does it taste, taste like? like regular it tastes water? like bottled water. Wow, okay. that's awesome. That's really so cool amazing. To see yeah, it tastes this. like bottled yeah. water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff for yeah. sure, and a uh, huge help for so many families that don't have access to clean, efficient water. So uh, fill them up, guys. It's a Absolutely. hot one already. Definitely. You know, uh, a lot of my family lives in reservation mm -hmm. communities, and they still haul in water. So that's so you know, this is something a game like changer, this. A life Absolutely. Changer. Absolutely.